Caves in tropical rainforests can provide roosts for an incredible diversity of bat species. In this one, several species of insectivorous bats are near the entrance, such as the greater dog-like bat and the lesser dog-like bat. A group of greater white-lined bats was hanging out nearby, and there were a few gray sacked wing bats. Non-bat residents include tailless whip scorpions. Deeper into the cave, another insectivorous bat, the Mexican funnel-eared bat, is hanging alone. The largest one here is the greater spear nose bat. When you see a puddle of blood plasma, you know vampires are here too. They have a distinctive appearance and are good at walking. Seeds of the spondius tree indicate fruit feeders, such as these Jamaican fruit bats. An anole lizard finds plenty of small insects that are feeding on the cave floor. Frog-eating bats use their large ears to locate frogs and other small vertebrates. The pale spear-nosed bat is a medium-sized omnivore that likes insects, fruits, nectar, and pollen. Cockroaches have their place in cave ecosystems too. Some bats are nectar specialists, like this orange nectar bat. Hundreds and hundreds of bats of over a dozen species live in this cave. Short-tailed bats of several species are fruit feeders. Most of the bats leave the cave within the first two hours after dark. One way to see what bats are eating is to catch them in mist nets set up near the cave. The nets provide a soft landing and don't hurt the animal. Here, a fruit of a wild cashew was dropped in the net. Like the cashew that we eat, the seed is separate from the fleshy fruit. Later in the night, fruit bats bring back their wild cashews to eat at home. The seeds drop onto the floor and sprout, but only the ones dropped outside the cave have a chance of producing another wild cashew tree.